Local nonprofit organization marks a major milestone. The Oliver Hazard Perry just surpassed its fundraising goal and is now sailing right toward its turning historical hull into a floating classroom. Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Estefan is in the Providence Mobile Newsroom with a look at the progress. The Oliver Hazard Perry has a long history in Rhode Island and one group is hoping it has a long future. Today Eyewitness News found out about a major milestone in fundraising and where the ship is headed from here. As work on the Oliver Hazard Perry continues, an educational vision is taking shape. This is an educational program that will tie together a lot of what Rhode Island is all about. John Corbishley tells Eyewitness News this hall will soon be a floating classroom, a semester at sea, providing a hands-on experience that OHPRI's chairman says you can't get in a book. You're teaching people something, you're working to, to discover something, it's a very, it's an uplifting feeling. Three years ago, the group purchased the ship hall named after a Rhode Island war hero in an effort to create the classroom at sea. But shortly after, the economy sunk. Everybody thought we'd never get anywhere at all, but obviously we've, uh, we've worked hard at it and gotten some success. To the tune of $4 million, just $2 million shy of their goal to bring this ship from dock to water. The ocean is two-thirds of the world's surface, so clearly it's important. This vessel will be complete with classrooms, labs, a sleeping area, and cafeteria. Though the idea may be tied up by budgets, we asked how schools can afford this type of luxury. We're hoping it won't necessarily cost them anything. Right now, they are working on a curriculum that will satisfy both the program and school standards. Though the view from Providence is pretty nice, we're told 75% of the work will be done here before the ship is moved back to Newport for finishing touches. Organizers hope the project is complete by July 4th, 2013. In Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Nicole Estefan, Eyewitness News.